like dang you change your hair again um yes y'all so let me explain real quick i love the clippings clippings are amazing but you guys it's too hot for one and for two like my scalp is just too sensitive like i feel like i had this problem before with clippings like even when my hair is braided down and the clippings are attached to my braids my my head just bangs all day and my scalp literally is sore like i feel like there's like like scars in my head in my scalp because it's just too much for me like it's just too much so i just went ahead and braided my hair in these like you know little passion twist braids or whatever and yeah something cute and funky for right now as you guys already know today is tuesday it's a daily vlog today is june 8th it's 11 41 right now i have to run out the door because I am running a little late. But before I run out the house, I wanna tell you guys about a company called Dossier. Dossier is a company that offers quality fragrances inspired by the iconic scents you love. So you guys, they offer all kinds of luxury inspired scents. The packaging is just so cute. I love their packaging, you guys, and I went with the scent Ambery Saffron, which reminds me of the Baccarat Rouge. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the scent Baccarat by Mason Francis. It is very, very popular. You can get it at Neiman Marcus or Saks, but it's highly expensive. Most importantly, Baccarat is like maybe 200 to 300 to even $400 in the store. Dossier offers their scents at 40 dollars like that is super super affordable not only is their packaging so aesthetically cute but they give you a lot of perfume compared to like my Chloe fragrance they offer you 50 ml which is 1.7 ounces which is a lot not only do you get their big bottle but you also get this sample bottle too if you guys take a look at their website they will have all the type of fragrances that you're looking for so they have Versace they have Gucci guilty they have Creed they have Tom Ford which is a very popular one they also have joe malone which is really popular so these are all inspired scents that they have on their website that you can get for like i said way more affordable i'm telling you right now that i've tried it and it literally smells just like the baccarat like i love this scent i wear it every day because like i said it just smells so freaking good if you guys ever smelled baccarat before it smells so freaking good and it literally follows you around the room so i'm super excited that this company was able to match that scent of course you guys i'm gonna look out for y'all and give y'all a coupon code make sure you use my code britney j10 i'll put it right here on the screen for you guys it will also be linked in the description box below and most likely be linked in the comment section as well so make sure you shop with them and use my discount code so you can get 10 percent off you guys your purchase it's already 49 dollars, so you're getting a huge discount from what you would have paid in the stores anyway right and yeah guys, thank you so much for Dosia for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna put this on. It smells so good, y'all. I love it. Okay guys, so we are on our way to the groomers. I am late. I'm a little late. 
hopefully you guys can hear me. I have the window open so friends can like be out. <laughs> you guys see him? I have it cracked a little bit so he can enjoy some fresh air, but I have his leash attached because y'all, I can't have him go out like Ginger. <laughs> y'all know Ginger, that dog that had that sweater on. And she just slipped out the car, baby. No, <laughs> that's not gonna be Prince. So, yeah, I just have his like collar, I mean his leash on. So we're headed to the groomers right now. Hopefully the apartment's free. I could have sworn they told me I can get a free um, appointment. Not the um, first time, but the second appointment, like grooming appointment should be free. I don't know, hopefully. Shoot, they might not mess with me at all because I'm late. But um, yeah guys, I have so much updates for you guys and like some, just like stuff that I need to talk to you guys about concerning like the house and everything. So once I um, get to the groomers and drop him off, I will come back on camera. Cause we both in the car, I gotta be safe y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay guys, false alarm, um, we're back home. I mean we because Prince is actually here too. He's upstairs with the girls. Apparently, he needs all of his like rest of his shots, which I, I knew he had some shots that he needed to get, but I didn't think he was old enough to get them yet. But apparently the groomers was like, oh, he needs all these shots, da da da. So I called his doctor's office and I scheduled him a vet appointment. So he's going to the doctor's Thursday and maybe if he's up for it, he'll go to the groomers 24 hours after that because they do accept him 24 hours after he has had like all his shots. And according to the doctors, he needs a lot of shots. Um, he's had his first rounds and stuff already, but the second rounds and the rabies he needs to get. So he'll be getting all that on Thursday. I dropped him off at nine o'clock. I'm just sitting down right now on the couch relaxing. It's about 1.47. Um, I wanted to go to Home Goods in a little bit before I get too lazy and too tired to like get up. I wanted to go to Home Goods real quick and I have to stop um, at Target again, I think. I'm running out of soap, but this time I need bath um, body wash. I should have got mine when I got Macy's, but whatever. The, the kids need some too as well, so. But yeah, guys, I need to update you on my rug situation. So you guys probably already know I posted on on the community tab here in um, YouTube about my rug. Well, you guys know recently that I ordered a rug. It never showed up through Amazon, whatever. I'm over that because I finally found the perfect rug, you guys. Like, you guys seen the picture of it, but I'm gonna show you right now. Um, I found it on rugs.com or rugsusa.com. Um, let me show you the picture, you guys. It looks so dope. Here's a better look at the rug. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's kind of like, I don't know, dark, but I think it's gonna look so good in this space. It's a, it's the Ivory Moroccan Abstract Diamonds Area Rug. So yeah, um, this is how the border looks and the design on it. And it's from the company Nulum, which is so funny because all of our rugs in the house are from this company. Babe's rug in the office is from Newlam. The rug that I have in our kitchen, the runner, is also from Newlam. But look how it looks. Like, oh my gosh, it just looks so beautiful. This is exactly what I was looking for. And this is how it looks as a runner for like your bathroom or whatever. But I just love this picture because, you know, you guys know I have those like gold accent tables over there. It's kind of blurry, but. You guys don't have those gold accent tables, so I just know that it's gonna look good with the gold and like the wood floors that we have. But yes, this is the rug. Um, I am getting the largest size, which isn't that big to me, but I don't know, hopefully it'll be okay. It's Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> My camera kind of cut off. Sorry about that. But um, I realized the time and I was like, let me just get going out to the stores anyway. But I was showing you guys the rug and um, the rug size that I wanted to get was 8.6 by 11.6. So, which is kind of like a 9 by 12 basically. 
but that doesn't come into stock until July 14th so it is back ordered but um yeah guys I'm happy that I found the rug that I really really want and I hope that I have a better experience ordering this rug than I did from Amazon because that was just like a terrible experience but yeah hopefully the rug will be able to be delivered and I tried it out in my living room let me show you guys like the picture where is it at I don't know if you guys can tell but see how good it looks in the living room it looks so good in the living room but yeah guys that's where I'm getting the rug from it's rugsusa.com fingers crossed I have a good experience with them and guys like I was having like some type of like anxiety I don't know why but well I know why but I was just having like some type of anxiety because we're in June right now but we all know like June kind of goes by fast like you know what I mean like June is only 30 days it's like it comes and goes and then come next month which is like July that's a bittersweet month because that's like the last month the kids and I have for you know vacations and like to do our last little stuff before school starts because I don't know about you guys but our kids start school very early in August like first week of August and I'm just like I'm just like not ready because they are doing in-person school this time and we haven't had to worry about school shopping school supplies or any of that since like august 2019 so it's been almost like two years since we had to like worry about school shopping and like worry about all this back to school stuff and it doesn't help that we're in a new district we're going to be starting a new school a new grade you know it's just like we're in middle school now so it's like i don't know i'm starting to get like really anxious and like nervous and just like stressed and I'm trying not to but because I, I have time like I have time right like it's only June but man like last year when they started school I had no problem because it was from home so we didn't we dodged all that like crazy back to school stuff like we didn't have to worry about any of that like any of that but now this year we're like in the streets with everybody else trying to figure out you know our um school situations let me get in line stop yapping because i don't want this atm line to grow longer and longer so yeah guys i'll see y'all when i get back and we're going to go to home goods since we're right across the street right we're right near home goods right are we um i thought we were Maybe it's a little further down. Hmm. We're gonna go to Home Goods real quick and then we're gonna go to Target, I think. And that's it. But yeah, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're currently at Marshall's. I know I said I was going to Home Goods, but y'all, that traffic was too much. So let me go. I was thinking of putting like a tray like this on our dining room table and putting like, I don't know, some, a plant or something. I need some new oven mittens. That's what I came in here for. Some new oven mittens. I like these. See? Simple. Larry just ordered candles, so I'm trying to stay away from them, but one wouldn't hurt, right? Ooh, bergamot. This looks so pretty. Mmm, smells really good. It smells like a bathroom one, though. Like for a bathroom. Ooh, sweet orange lemon. Oh, shit, it smells really good. Mmm, this smells really good. Pergamot mint. This looks really pretty. I just love the shape of it. 
Mm, but it smells really bad. Mm, this one smells really good. This one, clove and cypress. Ooh, why am I eliminating? Probably smells so good, but I don't like the way it looks. Mmm, this smells so freaking good. Watermelon lemonade. But, didn't look nice. Clean kitchen looks good. Mmm, this smells really good. Ugh, I'm gonna have to get this one because it looks so freaking. The aesthetic to this candle looks so freaking cute. I might have to just get it. Oh, I hate that they put this sticker right here, but. Maybe it could come off easily. I'm about to get this one. This smells so freaking good. This looks so cute. Which is this one? 10 bucks. That's really cute. This is only $10, you guys. I put this in here. Some greenery in here. to run into Target real quick I kind of want I had this idea for our dining room table and I'm looking for a cookbook I know I can probably get it cheaper on Amazon and I honestly didn't see any at Marshall's I didn't look inside TJ Maxx so like you guys told me to guys my end tables <laughs> oh they're everywhere now that's good so if you guys said that you didn't find them at Target, you guys gotta look in Atlanta because there's a bunch. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these lamps. So freaking cute. I would seriously put lamps on my end tables. So cute, I wouldn't even use them. I would just place them there. <laughs> Done. Oh, my camera's dying, y'all. Oh my gosh the worst I am the worst okay guys I will finish up this trip and I will see you back at home because my camera's about to die yeah so my camera died but I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting because I kind of spent some time looking for this pompous grass um, from either Home Depot or Lowe's I don't know which one people were saying that they found it at but I didn't find any pompous grass at either place i need to sit down real quick though i am tired and it is hot outside like i hate i keep saying this but i hate the um i hate the summer like i don't like i don't like the summer i don't like the heat i'm just not that type of girl and i was sweating like crazy <coughs> <clears throat> outside and I don't like that y'all that's why I got my hair braided up now because I don't like the heat like I just don't like the heat but um I went to Marshall's I showed you guys some stuff but I don't know if I showed you guys what I actually decided to get because I showed you like a couple of things that I was looking to get like that tray and stuff but I didn't end up getting that tray because that's not I don't know it's just I just feel like it didn't go right with the kitchen so first thing I got was the set of four kitchen towels, which I like. Um, I got these kitchen towels for $7.99. They're a four pack. Um, they're just like, you know, white and black plain kitchen towels. Um, well, not plain, but I like this one right here the most. Um, this one right here, this striped one. Y'all know the vibes, black and white, cream nude or whatever. So I got that and then we needed, we actually needed like some kitchen towels because we don't have any I don't think. But we were desperately needing some oven mittens and I got these ones. Really, really cute. They're working kitchen. Um, set of two mittens. Uh, so yeah, these were $6.99. I just think they look so cute. You know the vibes again, the black and white um kitchen mittens so freaking sturdy they feel so cute and i love how they have these like little hooks these um pleather <laughs> hooks that you can hang them even though they're just going in the cabinet or they're just going in the drawer rather they're not going to get hung up neither will these like i don't really care to have 
um, kitchen towels or anything hanging up right now. I kind of like it like clean. So yeah, I have these to put in a drawer because we just desperately need these. And then I also purchased a candle, which I said I don't need because I just purchased like three candles from Naked and they were like not cheap. Like they were like 40 bucks or something like that, a candle and I got three of them. <sighs> so yeah, I told myself no more candles, but I couldn't resist this one because I showed you guys this, but just in case you haven't seen it, it's the WE, which is, I think it stands for, I don't know what it stands for. W, DW, I said WE, DW Homes Clean Kitchen. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. Of course, I love the aesthetic of this candle. Like, it's a pretty big size, but look, it's like black and white. You guys know the vibes. I love black, white. So, this is the candle that I got. And it smells like mm, clean kitchen. Like, let me see if it has the actual scents of the candle. They never do. They never do, but it smells so good. It's given, it smells citrusy. Maybe bergamot, maybe a little juniper. I don't know, it smells so so good it smells crisp lemon wood pine i don't know it just smells so crisp i love this candle like it looks it smells good and it looks good by the way this candle was 14.99 just in case y'all were wondering i gave you the prices of the other two things but i didn't say the candles but i got this oh so freaking cute i got this from um marshall's as well it's like this ceramic glass y'all already know i have three other ceramic glass over there but this was only 9.99 and this was the last one of course but look how cute it looks it's matte white just like all the other pieces of it um in our home and it's a cute little size i plan on putting it right here in the middle of the dining room table i cannot wait but yeah, this is what I got, only $9.99. Like I said, this was the last one there. I got it at Marshall's, so freaking cute. Like everything is just so cute. <laughs> so from Marsh, no, from Target, I got this mango mandarin. I just got the suave body wash. This is, y'all know this is like the cheaper one, like a dollar something. I got this for our older girls because, um, Mm, it smells really good though. I got this for our older girls because like they run out of this so much. So I just buy this one just because it's easier for them to use and stuff. And they're getting older. They can wear body wash like that. I mean, use they can use body wash like that since they're getting older. And then I went and got the raw sugar. I know a couple people on my last um, video was talking about raw sugar or how they never tried raw sugar. You guys have to try raw sugar because like I said, it's cruelty free. It's vegan, it is also free of sulfite. It's also free of sulfates and parabens. I just love it. Like, I've never had a vegan um, product that really smelled like really, really good and that I enjoyed. Hold on, this camera's a little bright, I don't know why. But the scent that I got is the watermelon and fresh mint. Oh my gosh, like, mm, it smells so good. It's also juicy but minty. Mm, so good. So I have this, and then um, I just brought some AAA batteries. I like this house thrives off of batteries, so I need batteries all the time. I keep forgetting to get the AAA ones, so I'm glad I remembered this time. And then Macy ran out of her body wash, um, kind of accidentally left it in the bathtub by her, so she ended up. You know, poured it all in the tub. I was not happy, but it was my fault. I should have moved it. Anyways, I got her the same raw sugar um, kids, and it is the watermelon lemonade. So freaking good. So we both have the watermelon um, scent. So I'm happy about that because it's a good, like, summery um, smell without being, like, overpowering. And then the last item I got, which I'm kind of excited about, I've seen everybody with this and I just had to get it. I think you guys seen it already 
or maybe not because like i said my camera did die when i was in walmart i mean not walmart target so i ended up getting the magnolia table book i don't know to be honest with you who she is and i can't even tell you if i really care i just know the aesthetic of her book is on point okay that's that's all that really matters to me <laughs> I, like I said, am becoming a fan of like luxury books and not to say her book is <clears throat> luxury even though it's a very pretty like hardcover cookbook. Like for it to be a cookbook, is it a cookbook? Yeah, for it to be like a recipe book or a cookbook, it has this aesthetic that is really, really cute. So shout out to her or her, um, you know, advertisement team because they really did know what they were doing when they actually made this book. Because baby, this is a book that you should have in your home, in your kitchen, in your dining room because it just looks so freaking cute. Like the details, I don't know, like ever since I got my books, like the Tom Ford, the Chanel, the Louis Vuitton book, like I just, I'm, I just love books. I can't wait to get the console table because I have so many more books to buy. But this book is so cute. And it was priced at, it says $29.99, but I only paid $20 for it. Um, I know on, uh, what's that, Amazon, it was like $16.99, but y'all, me and Amazon got like a little bitter relationship now. So if I see something right in front of my eyes, even though it could be slightly more expensive, I'm getting it, because I don't trust Amazon no more. Ooh, you see that, y'all? Ooh, that looks so good. But yeah, um, nice little book that I wanted to get for the decor in the house. And I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Let me turn y'all around. But this was the setup. Not much at all to this setup. Um, we actually kept fruit in this, but I don't want any fruit on top of the table. Um, that's gonna be kept like, you know, in the fridge or something. But yeah, this is the setup of how everything is now, but I'm gonna take this away. And this thing actually like scratched our table, which really sucks, but never mind that. I'm just gonna put the book there. I don't know if I wanna do something like on the side or place it on top like I don't know what I want to do but um I did order some pompous grass to go in here see I don't know if I should do the candle right here or something like I don't know or put this right here put the candle next to it or just leave the candle which I might do and then have the pompous grass and something else I'm gonna put something else on here right there but um yeah, I'll probably just leave the candle out. I'll probably put this on my, um, over there where, what's that thing called? You know, the soaps and stuff are. But I ordered some pompous grass for this uh, vase. Um, I ordered the same pompous grass that I have over, you guys know, over there where um, that pompous grass. I ordered the same one to put right here because, um, I wanted like some pompous grass in here even though we only have like a slight greenery over there which I know guys I'm gonna get a taller um, situation over here <laughs> I'm gonna get a taller one but <clears throat> sorry my voice I wanted to get just pompous grass in the middle of the table because you know our home decor like I said is modern I want to keep it that way but yeah I just cannot wait to play with this area um, I don't know what else I want over here. Let me know below what I should do. Again, not doing too much, so I don't want like a whole bunch of ideas, but definitely feeling the pompous grass and I want something else on top of the book. Uh, I just don't know what goes on top of the book. I kind of want it relatable to the dining room, but still like a cute decor piece. I don't know. So just let me know below what I should do, but this is what I'm going with for right now. Or like, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do something like this. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do.
takes me a minute to play around with it. Right, so um, I'm putting this stuff away, but after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty much done for the rest of the day as far as like um, going anywhere. So I'm probably gonna show you guys me cleaning up a little bit. Um, I always do like, I got some unfinished laundry that I have to do. Not like actually like wash, but I have to put it away because right now it's just sitting on top of the dryer. And then I have to put the stuff that I just purchased up and then get dinner ready. And then I'm probably gonna close out the vlog. So um, you guys are free to watch me, you know, just go around the house and tidy up. And then I'll come back on here after I'm done with everything and close out the vlog. Okay guys, so I've been playing around with this. <laughs> Do you think you like it this way? It's kind of hard to like really envision it because I don't have my pompous grass in. But I don't know, I'm just liking this little setup. I do want to put a candle here, but you know, it's not going to be this big candle. I'm actually going to put this big candle over here next to my um, fake little roses that I have, or not roses, but you know, these little flowers. I'm going to put it right here, actually. I just think with the white curtains and the black rod. And then we have our actual light fixture. I just think everything's gonna tie in together. I'm just trying to see what I want to go here. Like what else? Without doing too much, cause y'all know. Simple aesthetic. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this daily vlog. Um, chill vibes. I'm happy that I got some like little home decor in there for you guys. Stay tuned for my weekly vlog because I will be going out looking for some more trinkets to go on our dining room table and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I cannot wait until this freaking buffet cabinet gets in stock. Like, everything's out of stock. Ugh. So, yeah, if you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell because I will be posting videos every Fridays now. That's the new series. So, you don't want to wait. So, you don't want to miss out on that. And, yeah, guys, I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.